What's happening everyone? Eugenia with another episode. Today's episode is about learning a little bit more about uh, videography shots and clips and how I can better create more better content really. So I am going to be setting up a punching bag and a stand and everything. Basically, as some of you might know, I have been doing MMA. I uh, started at the beginning of the year. I have missed a couple of weeks, I must admit. Uh, work, schedule, etc., etc. has been quite hectic. But after Monday's session, my it's Wednesday now, my hamstrings are still a little bit sore. So I know that it was a good workout and we did a lot of kicks and a lot of sparring and stuff like that and one of the things he did say is we need to practice so I originally had a punching bag I went and got that punching bag from where I used to live and I'm about to set it up so it's gonna be interesting so I'm gonna I'm gonna try and create video while doing this so that I can learn more about shots and b-roll and all that sort of stuff so it's just one big fun experiment so yes <laughs> let's see how I crack on As you've seen, I've just taken the wooden pallet off the wall. That's where I'm going to be putting the punching bag. So this is the... Uh, I've forgotten the punching bag. So um, let's start by going and getting that. Okay, now that we've got everything we need for... The, there's the punching bag, the stand, the drill and the step ladder to get it up. I was thinking, do we just put a transition? So something on the on the lines of a click and have the bag up on the wall something similar to this as you can see the bag is already up so what do I do do I leave this as a cutscene or do I show some b-roll and then show the process of actually putting it up so I'm gonna go for the second option I'm going to try and create some b-roll nice plane flying overhead now I'm going to try and create some B-roll and then put a video together. So, let's see what happens and how fun this experience can actually be while learning how to create better videos. So,
there we go. Bag is up. And what can I say? Kishok got to shoot some B-roll footage. And I have, I must admit, I have edited some of it already. So I kind of know what I've included and where I've made some of my mistakes, etc. But it is all a, a learning curve, really, at the end of the day. And yeah, I've enjoyed this learning curve, to be honest. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go, I've got MMA tonight. So I'm going to go and get my clothes on and set up the cameras and try and get some uh, footage of me with the bag just playing around before my class starts later so yeah let's see how the, what we can do there and see if i can set it up without any tripods and i'm gonna have to fashion this i should really record me setting up now but i don't have enough cameras and i I, I need, yeah, it's going to be difficult. So, anyway, uh, I'm going to get started with this, and yeah, cool. Oh man, yo, I feel like the champion. Oh man, yo, I feel like the champion. Oh man, yo, I feel like the champion. I'm making sure they know me now, know me now, know me now. And I pray they never forget me and made it because they let me made a lane and I play the game. I couldn't stay the same. I had to change up, get my change up before I lost my. And as you've just seen, just had a bit of a workout, obviously going to MMA later. So I'm going to try and, well, not later, shortly actually. So I'm going to try and see what footage I do have and then try and put some finishing touches, B-roll footage on there. And yes, that is my learning experience, not only in trying to record better videography footage with transitions and effects etc etc um, also camera angles trying to see how it comes out and so it's all one big learning curve and i'm definitely enjoying every minute of it thank you very much guys for tuning in to another episode and i will see you when i see you again <laughs> a little bit tired there now anyway have a good day guys